transfer to a school that's too expensive and work to a job for which I get paid too little. Oh, oh this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. You're waking up with the morning app on 90.5 WASU. It is 8 o'clock. It is a Monday morning. You're listening to 90.5 WASU, which means it is time to wake up with the morning app. I'm here with Josh, Howie, Molly, and myself. Kristen, are you guys feeling this Monday? Because I'm feeling this Monday. <laughs> I see the snow outside, so I'm definitely feeling this Monday. If it's cold in Boone, I want it to snow, and today is that day. So I'm a little happy that it's snowing, but let's see if I can be productive. Honestly, I, th I thought we might get a little bit of a benefit from the snow but really it's just cold i thought we could get a delay or something but it, it's okay it's okay because yeah. you know what i'm happy to be here happy to be back we only had one show howie last week because yeah. we uh took a sick day oh, on best friday day ever. sick day sick, it wasn't even worth it <laughs> it was not it was worth not. it it was not worth it we were out of the show by 10 30 we thought it was going to be much later but uh absolute disappointment jokes man. on us <laughs> <laughs> it's like we definitely could have been here but hey we took our sick day we're here on monday and we're going to be talking about a America's favorite supermarket. So, do you guys have a particular supermarket that you go and get groceries from, like mm -hmm. Walmart, mm -hmm. Lowe's Food? Everyone like has that? their favorite, right? What's your favorite? Oh. I was hoping you would have asked. Okay, she's so full of everybody has their favorite, but not me. Not me, not me. No, I, I have my, okay, so I have the one that I go to a lot, and then I have my favorite. Okay. So, I go to Walmart a lot. Yes. Because I live so close to it, and mm -hmm. it's you know, Walmart prices, but I prefer Harris Teeter once okay. I can afford Harris Teeter. Ooh. Although okay. once I'm making those big bucks, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna shop at Earth Fair all oh. the time. Mm. Oh my goodness. So never <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I like Lowe's. <laughs> I, love, I, I feel fancy when I'm in there. Very adult, you know. It like it sounds like you were saying like Lowe's, like the Home Improvement. Okay, store. I love that <laughs> store too, though. It smells great in there. It reminds yes, me of my right? dad. Yes. <laughs> Every the time best I'm in smell there. in the world, Home Depot and Lowe's. Yes. Walking in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I agree. Right? How yes. weird is that? And the appliance <laughs> section really just makes me smile. You should make that a candle, honestly. A Lowe's or Home Depot oh, candle. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's the little things. It's it the is. Little <laughs> Josh, what about you? What's your favorite supermarket? I, mean, I don't have like a favorite. I just go to a lot of them. Like if they're close, I'll go to Like yesterday, I went to Ingles because I was on my way home. Yeah. Love Ingles. I hear they have great prices. Ingles, Ingles is actually fantastic. really good. I like but them. I haven't gone there much, so I have a routine. <laughs> I usually go to Food Line for yes. all my groceries and everything and I have a routine like I know exactly what aisles mm -hmm. to go down yes, and everything of course. I wandered into Ingles I swear I found myself in the dog aisle about five times I don't <laughs> have a dog and I got lost in every single aisle. I, I, I went in there with a whole grocery list I walked out with four things. Okay. Because I had no clue what I needed. Wow. I couldn't Mine, find anything. That's disappointing. Mine's the opposite. Really? I go out there with a bunch of stuff if yeah. I'm going in. Like, I'll, oh, that snack looks good. No yeah. wafers? Yep, that's we'll pick snack. it up. Do I need it? No. Nope. Eight bags of Cheetos. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But you said Food Lion. And Food Lion is actually on this list of yeah. the top ten supermarkets for customer experience. So at number nine is going to be Food Lion. Number ten, though, is Major, I think. But it's M-E-I-J-E-R. I don't know if you've heard of that. It's you know, major. it's so weird because grocery stores are regional things. Yeah, mm -hmm. Publix is only in the south, I believe. Same, same with Harris Teeter, like southeast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but up north, uh, I can't remember all of them. We used to have a, a Highlander, Stop and Shop. Oh, you remember yeah. Bilo? I love Bilo bag. Oh my goodness, I loved Bilo. They had everything cheap. It was like the Walmart for groceries, like 100%. If you wanted anything food, Bilo was the way to go. Mm -hmm. You know what's an overlooked grocery store? What's that? Aldi. Mm -hmm. Aldi oh, yes. is Agreed. so good. Yeah. We should get one here in Boone, honestly. Yeah, actually, you'd be surprised. Aldi and Publix are on this list, too, but we'll keep yeah. going up okay. the charts. Uh, number eight is Save a Lot. And number seven <laughs> is Shoprite. Six is Trader Joe's. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Trader Joe's. It's pretty good. Candy. Yeah. Yes. Trader awesome. Joe's is really small. Yeah. But it's so cute in there. <laughs> but you think about for customer experience, they probably have like a whole bunch of supermarkets and they're like, list your favorite ones. Everybody's like, yeah, we'll pick Trader okay. Joe's. And number five is Wawa, my friend. Yes. That I know talks about Wawa all the time. That's a northern thing, too. That's mm -hmm. another thing. Okay. But they actually have some in Florida because uh, whenever we were going oh. on the cruise, we saw a couple of Wawas, but didn't stop by and say anything or see anything. So that's just a fun name. Wawa. I'd go in for it Wawa. Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> number four is going to be Aldi. Number three is Publix. Two is H-E-B. And number one is Wigman's. Wigman's. Oh, that's awesome. Wigman's. That's, yeah. 
no northern things. northern thing. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. But yeah, so Publix and Aldi are actually on this list, which was surprising to me. But they're both awesome. That's so interesting because okay, I've been to Publix a few times since we've gotten them, and I would not do my normal grocery shopping there because when I go to the grocery store, I just want to get in and get my things and get out. Yeah. I don't want it to be an experience. I don't want people to say hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I just kind of want to get my groceries and leave. So this customer service thing, it's like. They're trying to be your best friend, yeah. but I really don't want one, <laughs> so just leave <laughs> just me alone. <laughs> I just want my food. No, yeah. it makes me feel uncomfortable whenever I'm in there. I, I feel like I have to look presentable because I'm like, oh, new buddy today. <laughs> this isn't Walmart. Okay. <laughs> Todd down the cereal aisle. <laughs> I, I want some free samples there from public, though. Don't they give out mm -hmm. free samples? They yeah, do. That's the best part. Yes. They do. I think there was one time, actually, me and my roommate went, and they had a, uh, a chicken recipe. I forgot what it was called. It was like pineapples and chicken oh. and something else combined, and it was really good we bought all the ingredients to make it guess who never made it you guys we didn't <laughs> but we had all the ingredients for it but they give out some free samples and they give you recipes and it's really cool i would also i would trade all of these uh stores all food line ingles i trade them all for a sam's and a costco no so no 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 i would love to have Okay, Costco's cool and all, but yeah. why are we buying bulk when we're... <laughs> because we I live in our own. own. I need yeah. it in bulk. I don't want to keep going to the grocery store. If I buy it in bulk, I never have to go back. Like yeah, but month. things expire, John. Not yeah. true. That's just a myth. Also, my kitchen's <laughs> okay. not big. I can't keep up with the costco size boxes. I don't really enjoy my experience when I go to Costco. What? I don't think I'm saving that much. I, I end up spending lunch. more. You save a lot of money, though. You don't even think about it, but you save a lot of money mm -hmm. going to Costco. It's so weird, though. They're like... <laughs> They're more than a grocery store, yeah. you know? They yeah, have, like, an eye everything. care center and a phone center, uh -huh. and it's just so weird. The lawn center. Yeah. I love you know what I'm talking about? They got like the little lawn mowers and like grass. Oh, yeah. And stuff like exactly that. Exactly what you're talking so about. It's so weird. Best section in the world. Don't diss Sam's the and Costco. Like, yeah. I, I, I really like, I heard a lot of hype about Costco, so I was like, okay, I have to go. And Sam's I, is better. I was, yeah. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. But they I, actually, didn't they just close Sam's Club? Like, I thought Walmart oh, closed it burn. officially. No, they didn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No, they I'm, didn't. I'm almost positive look it that up. they did. We'll have to look it up. All right. Well, while you're looking that up, Walmart is trying to fight back against Amazon right now because yes. they are adding a bunch of self-service kiosks. And what they're calling them, they're calling the, them pickup towers. And they're massive. Right when you walk into Walmart, there's these giant orange pickup towers, like 16 feet tall. Oh. And it's basically a way to pick up your online orders. So you call in, and it's basically like the future. You call in, go to this t tower, type in your order number, mm -hmm. and a conveyor belt, like elevator, brings down your package or whatever you ordered. A little window opens up, and there's your package. Oh. It's saving a ton of time. It's going to be available to nearly like 40% of the U.S. population. And it's just really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to keep up with, though, the whole it's free shipping if you get it shipped to the store or the kiosk because walmart does that yeah and that's why sometimes yeah. i will order from walmart as opposed to amazon i mm. i would think so i don't know why they'd not do that and then at the same time you know sometimes you have the bigger packages because this is a giant tower but you can't fit like maybe the massive like plasma tv that you got so they're also making pickup lockers now so oh, they're gonna have amazon that. has that yeah amazon yeah. does so that too yeah walmart's gonna have giant lockers for oh, stuff so you can just go to it get your stuff and the towers are just gonna deliver your packages. it's basically like santa's workshop and you're getting everything <laughs> delivered down to the bottom floor it's amazing people <laughs> just do your grocery shopping on your own <laughs> well Why? this is no 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 so like this is everything you can't get at a grocery store okay. so like because my dad like, and i were actually looking at new figure skates yeah um and because <laughs> i'm gonna get some because <laughs> mine are like seven years old and you know normally you have to go to a very specialized place to find the kind that i wanted walmart had them and that's so bizarre and so rare and amazon didn't and so my dad was like yeah well they're trying to compete with amazon i was like yeah. they really are they're also, along with the tower, along with the lockers, they're also testing right now a much larger machine with an internal freezer and refrigerator so you can do the, that kind of grocery oh. shopping as well. What? Uh-huh. Okay, that's crazy. That's lazy. I don't get those, I don't get those whole, like... <laughs> innovative. Don't call yeah. them lazy. The whole, let's order my food online, and then I have somebody run it out to my car. I don't get that, because then you're not picking out your produce, so they're just going to grab whatever produce you want to get. You're not going to be able to well, pick out the best avocado. How do you if know you which have one somebody is the else best? Do it. Oh my goodness. I gotta I gotta tell that story when we come back <laughs> later, man. That's crazy. Absolutely wild. <laughs> well, on the other side of the break, we're gonna have Molly's father try and call in here on the morning show. Stay with us. Mm 
Where the scissors at? Where's the tape? I don't know. You had it. No, I didn't. Guys, what are you doing? You said sports rap. You're wrapping up presents for sports teams, right? No, I meant Sports Rap, the sports talk show on 90.5 WASU that airs every Tuesday and Thursday at 6, where we recap the biggest sports games and news from the week. So what did you say? <laughs> well, what are you rapping? Oh, I'm just getting Tom Brady as playing football. Maybe you can catch it. I'm just wrapping up LeBron's career in Cleveland and sending Isaiah Thomas a no trade ball. And I'm getting a choking hazard label for the Indians, Dodgers, and the Falcons. You think Dan Quinn will like this? Come on, guys, time for actual sports rap. Falcons, Dodgers. My name is Maggie Harper, and I host the App 1800, a podcast featuring the current events in Boone that you care about. Listen every Monday at 9 a.m. on 90.5 WASU after the morning app. What time is it? I need to get up. I'm gonna go for the show. Oh, it's time for the morning out. Oh. to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. How are you guys doing this morning? You can listen worldwide at WASURadio.com, live on App TV, or with the iHeartRadio app. Hey, Howie. Oh, hey, Kristen, how are you? So what's going on? What music are you listening to right now? <sighs> Man, Howie, I don't know. I, I can't find any good music anymore. Well, guess what? I host a show on WASU. You do? Yeah, it's called The Rollout. Do you like Top 40 music? Of course I do! Well, guess what? I have your fix. I have the songs that are coming up on the charts. I have the next breakout artist and the songs you want to hear again and again. That sounds great! When was it again? It's going to be Wednesdays at 7 on 90.5 WASU or WASURadio.com. The Rollout. Listen to The Rollout every Wednesday at 7 on 90.5 WASU. What's up, guys? Here on App TV, the A Game is the only place where you can see highlights and updates on everything App State sports. I'm Braxton Critcher. And I'm Ashley Smith, co host of the A Game, where each and every Monday at 9 p.m., you can find the best coverage of all your favorite Mountaineer teams and in depth reporting from the sidelines. That also includes athlete interviews, a player of the week, and a chance for students to get involved with the QA game. So join us each Monday on App TV for App State's only sports TV show.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. 90.5 WASU. It is 8.15 on this lovely morning. Hey, lovely. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> We were going to try a new segment today, but we're having a little bit of difficulty with it. My father was going to call in and embarrass me to everyone. Oh, it's going to be um, so great. It's still, it's still going to happen, for sure. Yeah, for was. sure. Kristen was thriving for this moment. <laughs> I was so excited, honestly, because yeah. we've been friends for four years now. Yeah. And I've, I've, I've heard some teaser stories of her childhood, and it's pretty funny. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so we will definitely be doing this segment. We're going to have everybody on the show call or have their family members going to call in and tell us uh, some embarrassing stories that we've had. But uh, we'll probably not today, but hopefully next show we'll have everything sorted out and we can make that happen. But Molly, do you have any cool stories you want to tell us about your childhood? <laughs> anything? Do we want to cry? We should, we should all predict how she was as a kid. Yeah, predict okay. first and then I will okay. go on You were definitely there. a tomboy. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, definitely a spaz. <laughs> Definitely a spaz, but you cared about your schoolwork, all right? That's something really? to predict. She, she was a tomboy, cared about mm -hmm. schoolwork, always with the guys, and that's it. That's all I got. Wow. You were just chilling. Wow, you really know me. <laughs> but it was more I had guy friends in high school. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, you know, at a young age, guys have cooties. <laughs> no, not even that. I, I didn't want to touch anybody. I was like, that's don't talk to you. me. <laughs> Get away. Get uh, away. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, as a child, young child, um, I had um, Lord of the Ring action figures, <laughs> and um, they would chop off Barbie's head. Uh, <laughs> um, and I would play with worms in the yard. Um, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like insects still to this day. Oh, um, I'm goodness. just weird. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, funny stories. Here we go. <laughs> this, uh, my father was probably going to tell this one, so I'll leave that one to him. But uh, in Massachusetts, where I lived for a little bit, um, there's a place called Papa Gino's. And they have, you know, the crane games where you can pick up stuffed animals. Oh, yeah. those are so frustrating. You, you spend all your money, you never get a stuffed animal. Sorry. I know. I, I, <laughs> hence the story. Um, <laughs> I can't quite remember how it went. I either wanted candy from one or a stuffed animal. But I threw the largest fit in America that any child <laughs> has ever had. I freaked out. And my father, I just remember my dad was so mad at me. And I still remember to this day... Like, that is the most trouble I've ever been in. And I was, like, three or four years old. Huh. And I have never crossed him. Did you ever get ever to play again? It? I can't remember. I feel like he was like, no, not anymore. You're not playing it because <laughs> you do a fit. <laughs> so have you ever won at the crane game? Probably not. Oh, that's one of the most satisfying experiences that anyone will ever have. Yeah. yeah. I have tipped so many cranes, but I have never what? been close. I, uh, I spent a lot of my childhood in ice rinks, and so yeah. I got pretty got good at of those. those. Yeah. <laughs> but I also uh, burned a hole in my dad's wallet. I, I would keep coming back for more. I'd be like, oh, I have okay. another dollar. And I, thought like, you, oh. I thought you actually burned a hole in no, his no, wallet. No, no, that's no, no. I, I did, like, too. What? I was like, why? I'm pretty sure it's a figure of speech. It is. It is. I it, always mess those up. Yeah, and I was, I was actually the same way because... Because when I was younger, I did speed skating, like rollerblading. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm actually, yes, I'm actually not Howie. told people this, really. I, it's not like that I've been avoiding it. I just forgot that I did it. <laughs> now you're telling the whole <laughs> world. Yes, yes. When I was uh, in middle school, I think, it was early middle school, I did speed skating. So we had a roller rink we had at, in High Point, And I actually did rollerblading. And I was a speed skater. So serious. I'm, I'm just thinking lying. roll bounce. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> roll Has bounce. anybody seen that movie? No. Okay, cricket, <laughs> cricket. It's like um, these neighborhood kids are all like really good at roller skating, and it's about like a skating competition. About Bow Wow? Is it Bow Wow? What's his name? Bow -wow? I don't know. You tell him. We don't know. <laughs> Bow Wow. Yeah, you tell I think us. it's Bow Wow is his name. I don't know. He's a rapper. And Actually, he's in I it. think I've seen that movie now. That you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And yeah. she's got the braces. Yes. Yeah. There's very little we don't know about each other. How have you never told us that you were a speed skater? Yeah, I told you. I literally forgot. Like, I had to think about the <laughs> other day. I was about like, that, like he blocked path. it out of his memory. Well, it was, it was <laughs> a did. small part of my childhood. Like, I didn't do it that long. It was like a month or so. So it I wasn't really that. that long that I did it. But It sounds like me trying everything as a kid. Yeah. yeah. I would get into it, and I'd be like, nah. Oh, my god. A week later, my mom would be like, we signed you up for eight weeks' classes. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Molly, you said that you have a sister, correct? Mm -hmm. How old is your sister? She's 27. 27? Mm -hmm. So, um, you ever felt like that she was the favorite child that you were the favorite child at all did anybody feel like no that with their i can tell you right now it was my brother it was uh. not me or my sister <laughs> he is the like cherished child yeah no he wasn't even spoiled he just was really smart and like 
I don't know. You know that one kid that just never messed up? He gets good grades, like 4.0 at Chapel Hill. My brother, it, with a double major, my brother is so intelligent. Oh it is goodness. upsetting. <laughs> it is sickening. I have to try to get C's. Wow. Um, yeah. It's so, so upsetting. My brother succeeds at something. Oh. <laughs> no, it's just the fact that he doesn't, like, with him, it's just natural. I love him. I'm so glad he's successful. But Amanda and I definitely had that rivalry, though, you know, hmm. kind of. There was a few fist fights growing <laughs> up, you know, yelling Ooh, at girl, each other. We'll snatch your hair, baby. <laughs> yeah, but we get along really well now. She's my best friend now. Awesome, but. awesome. There's actually a new survey that finds that uh, more than half of parents admit that they love the youngest child the most. I am the youngest. Not... the youngest. I am the youngest, too. Hey. So. Hey, hey, Whitney, nah, if you're listening, I'm sorry. You know, mom and dad, it's lovely. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. But uh, Wait, the youngest one? That's the yeah. one that gets forgotten. No. Yeah. no that was the, the one that was child. Yeah. The middle child is, is like no. the, oh, the red-headed stepchild, as the term is. But, no yes. way. I've always heard or have seen that it's a younger child because you've had like three or four and you're like, eh. I don't, I don't really need to do anything with this one. Okay, so I actually used to work at a kid's camp, right? Yeah. And it's so predictable what, like, birth order they come in. So it's like, you know, the quiet, polite ones are usually the middle ones. The leaders are usually the older ones. And then the child that gets his way with everything, but I won't give him his way because I'm a little bit more harsh than uh, most camp counselors. Because <laughs> you mean. She I'm mean. a little mean. But... <laughs> they're usually the younger ones. Yeah. And so it's, like, very determining of their personality, at least growing up. You know, they probably grow out of it, but it's so interesting. And then, you know, only children, you can point them out usually, too. This is not always true, but... Yeah, I just, usually am, like... Yeah, usually. Are you an only yeah. child? <laughs> yeah. I've done that before. I've done that. A kid's getting in trouble, I'm like... You're an only child. You're definitely actually. only like, child. Yeah. And I'm like, mm-hmm, it's crazy sometimes you can tell <laughs> by their attitude and their demeanor. And actually, uh, 61% of parents say that the reason why they choose... Um, their uh, younger child is because the older child is uh, tricky and demanding. So mm. they, they're more demanding, like, hey, uh, I need 20 bucks to go to the movies, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, older children. So oh, if I you're the older child. Me. I'm, I was like, I was asking my parents for money. I would panic before. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, they actually say that 26% of uh, the, the parents that were surveyed said that they preferred the older child. But that's a very small amount of parents in this survey. Twenty six percent. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know I'm the favorite child because I always I was spoiled. Okay, let me tell you, let me tell you the story too. I have been so spoiled throughout my whole life. And my mom and my sister and my dad will tell me that all the time because I always wanted all of like the wrestling action figures. I wanted the Hot Wheels cars. And so they would always get it from me every time I go to the store. Can I say, though, you don't act spoiled. You don't think so? You don't have a spoiled personality whatsoever. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you might have the birth order personality when you're younger, but I think a lot of people do grow out of it. Like, I know a lot of people now that are only children, and they're great. You don't act spoiled at all. I would have never guessed. Bless up. Yeah. I was... (laughs) Man, it was pretty bad. My sister was the first spoiled. My parents spoiled both of us, but... (laughs) <laughs> you know, for me personally, it, it was just like certain things that I wanted. My sister wanted everything. She wanted Barbie. She wanted clothes. I just wanted yeah, action same. figures, man, and Hot Wheels. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> I always wanted the candy. The candy. Like toys, I can leave that at home. Clothes, eh. Candy. <laughs> Where's the candy, Ma? <laughs> okay, I respect that. Coming up on the morning app, we're going to be playing our favorite game, Name That Movie Quote. Molly is going to be up telling us what movies we need to predict, see if we can get them right, and it's Wake, Alice in Wonderland, on the app. Where the scissors at? Where's the tape? I don't know. You had it. No, I didn't. Guys, what are you doing? You said sports rap. We're repping up prisons for sports teams, right? No, I meant sports rap, the sports talk show on 90.5 WASU that airs every Tuesday and Thursday at 6, where we recap the biggest sports games and news from the week. What did you say? <laughs> well, what are you rapping? Oh, I'm just getting Tom Brady to play football. Maybe we can catch this. I'm just wrapping up LeBron's career in Cleveland and sending Isaiah Thomas a no trade clause. And I'm getting a choking hazard label for the Indians, Dodgers, and the Falcons. You think Dan Quinn will like this? Come on, guys, time for actual sports rap. Falcons, Dodgers. My name is Maggie Harper, and I host the App 1800, a podcast featuring the current events and gloom that you care about. Listen every Monday at 9 a.m. on 90.5 WASU, after the morning app.
What time is it? I need to get up. I'm gonna go fish up. Oh, it's time for the morning out. Oh. <gasps> Worldwide at WASURadio.com, live on App TV, or with the iHeartRadio app. Hey, Howie. Oh, hey, Kristen. How are you? So, what's going on? What music are you listening to right now? <sighs> Man, Howie, I don't know. I can't find any good music anymore. Well, guess what? I host a show on WASU. You do? Yeah, it's called The Rollout. Do you like Top 40 music? Of course I do. Well, guess what? I have your fix. I have the songs that are coming up on the charts. I have the next breakout artist in the song you want to hear again and again. That sounds great. When was it again? It's going to be Wednesdays at 7 on 90.5 WASU or WASURadio.com. The Rollout. Listen to The Rollout every Wednesday at 7 on 90.5 WASU. What's up, guys? Here on App TV, the A-Game is the only place where you can see highlights and updates on everything App State sports. I'm Braxton Critcher. And I'm Ashley Smith, co-host of the A-Game, where each and every Monday at 9 p.m., you can find the best coverage of all your favorite Mountaineer teams and in-depth reporting from the sidelines. That also includes athlete interviews, a player of the week, and a chance for students to get involved with the Q&A game. So join us each Monday on App TV for App State's only sports TV show.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. 90.5 WASU. It is 832 on this lovely Monday morning. Yes. I, I, look, Josh, don't don't kill me, man. All right, I had to <laughs> say lovely. Everybody needs to know it is lovely because of the snow. What is the weather like, Kristen? Well, today we have a high of 45 and a low of 34, according to BooneWeather.com. The flurries will probably not continue throughout the morning, yeah. but it was it was kind of nice. I mean, I know it's April 9th, and this shouldn't be happening, yeah. but it was, I, I took all my winter stuff home, but it was kind of nice, you know? It was yeah. a nice, like, non-harmful flurry Refresher. morning. Mm -hmm. A refresher, yeah. a strawberry refresher. Refresher. Good, actually, right now. <laughs> and see, if you expect it to get any classes canceled or delayed today, no. you, you hope too high because it's a boon and you would think that would happen but no you always no. have like a small small i'm a senior right okay right. so i i know how the when and why the school will cancel and i mm -hmm. knew it would have happened today but there's just a small hope this just glimmer it's tiny. shining yeah but it's <laughs> dimming very quickly just <laughs> dimming diminishing but what is not diminishing is my hopes to be number one and name that movie quotes hmm. this week. And actually, the score right now, Molly and Kristen are tied with 11. Yes. However, Molly will more than likely get passed for first place today because Kristen, me, and Josh are going to be playing. Hopefully, we'll get them right. And I have nine, and Josh is in last with eight. <laughs> so, about right. uh, Sounds that's about right. right. Thank yeah. the Lord. <laughs> well, today, I, don't, I tried picking one that we all would know. But apparently not. Um, you had to handicap the one guy who's in last. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adam Sandler movies today. Yes. See, I knew Kristen uh, would I'm like know them. Fifty fifty. I see. Thought you say Adam Sandler movies, but I'm not sure his movies are good enough to technically be called movies. Ooh. All right, listen. There, is no uh, doubt. there are some classics in there. Fifty First Dates makes me shed a tear at least once every time. He's got no depth to anything he does. That's I know. Like, and that's why I thought you would like them. Oh. A hot take. <laughs> I had to do it. He got burned. I'm so good, Molly. I love it. <laughs> Man, we're doing Oscar-worthy performances. Next time I'm up, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see who's laughing then. I love you, Josh. Okay, so the first one is, gee, you know, the informa that information w really would have been more useful to me yesterday. Hmm. Sorry. Is it A, grown-ups, B, Spanglish, C, bedtime stories, D, the wedding singer? I think it's A. I think, think it's, it's A, a? grown-ups, too. I think it is grown-ups. Now, like wh now why do you think that? Because you've seen the movie? Or I, just... I have, but I, I remember that quote, but I can't, like, obviously I can't remember which movie it is, but if I had to pick one, I think grown-ups, because I've seen that one out of the rest of them, and I feel confident. So yeah, I haven't seen Fine. any of the I'll other go ones. Bedtime Story. That's the one I only remotely, like, know or heard of. Like, I, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, <laughs> I can't even look at Josh without smiling, because I feel so <laughs> bad about roasting I... him. <laughs> but... You guys were all actually wrong. What? Oh. Yeah. It's from one that we haven't heard then. It's The Wedding Singer. Mm, uh, wrong. Yeah. Wedding Singer. What was that movie about? It, a wedding he's a wedding singer. singer and it, <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that one. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. I mean, it was a good quote, I it guess. It was a good yeah. quote. It was really funny to me. I read it this morning, and I honestly thought it was something that somebody would say on the show. Yeah. That's fair. Um, next is, having a kid is great. As long as his eyes are closed and he's not moving or speaking. <laughs> Is it A, The Longest Yard, B, Big Daddy, C, Grown Ups, D, The Water Boy? Mm. That's gonna be Grown Ups, right? Maybe, but I don't, I don't wanna pick it two times. I'm in gonna a row. say Big Daddy. What okay. is Big Daddy about? It's the one with um, one of the Sprouse kids. Two of them, both of both them. Both right? of them play it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know. When what? they were babies. That literally told yeah. me nothing. <laughs> See, it's, it's definitely not the water boy and it's definitely not the longest yard so it comes down to those two i'm gonna say grown-ups i'm gonna go with grown-ups again hopefully i'll get it right this time and what did you say josh mm. grown-ups okay howie and josh you were both wrong <gasps> Kristen was right oh my yes. god i believed it too oh no big daddy's a really good movie oh, actually no. it's, it's really funny <laughs> mm -hmm. the uh spit scene really grosses me out a lot <laughs> that's, the, that's like the one thing i remember from that, that sticks movie. out inside oh. of your head yeah you, so you led me astray howie mm. i'm sorry hey man you picked first actually oh. <laughs> yeah you led me astray <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Just looking for someone to blame. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be me. He's going to blame me. At the end. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So third is settle down and eat your pancakes, huh? Like, mm. huh? Okay. Like settle down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of need those options here, Molly. <laughs> A, Billy <laughs> Madison. B, Pixels. C, Airhead. And then D, 51st Dates. What was the first one? Oh. Billy Madison. 51st Dates. It's definitely 51st Dates. How are we saying that with such confidence? Because I know, I she mentioned have, it earlier. We shouldn't have said it first. Yeah, she mentioned it earlier. No, so. but okay, I'll, I'll give my reasoning. She didn't watch the first movie. I'll give my reasoning <laughs> after Josh puts in his answer. I already heard you. She mentioned it earlier. It's like her favorite one. Okay, but which one are you going to pick? Well, not yours, guys, because I don't want to be the same. Okay, well, okay, so we have Airhead, <laughs> Pixel. I'm going to go Pixels just because I heard that was a, a trash movie. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I literally just knew it was a knockoff emoji movie type Oof. situation, okay, and I would I never watch that. my answer? Yes. Um, A. To Billy Madison? Sure. Oh. Cool. <laughs> He's not Come confident on. at all. <laughs> um, actually, Josh, you were wrong. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, Kristen and Howie, you were right. It is 51st date. Come yeah. on, Josh. I, she goes I don't want to pick pancakes I don't every pick morning. The yeah. Same thing you guys do. Hey, man, you could pick it. We're trying to win here, okay? We're trying, We're trying to get dubs. Listen, all right? <laughs> at the end of the day, Josh, you just have to look out for yourself. Yes. Look out for number one. See, you can you can read Krista, but you can't read Molly. But I like you guys. <laughs> I thought he just called you Krista, and I was like, wrong. <laughs> wrong. Fake friendship. <laughs> Fake friends. <laughs> Josh is looking at me with dead eyes. Um, the last one is, haven't you heard? Goofy is the new handsome. Oh, and we know. Is... We know. Do we? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Hit us, hit us with the choices. Okay. It's A, bedtime stories. It's B, Hotel Transylvania, C, Anger Management, or D, Happy Gilmore. Ooh, Happy maybe Gilmore. Maybe I'm not so Actually, confident, but I'm going to say Happy Gilmore as well. I would have go with Hotel Transylvania. I'm going to mm. go with that. Okay. Josh, did you say anything? Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Wow, you guys really just are really killing it here. <laughs> um, it's bedtime story. So we were all wrong? We were all wrong. Oh, my Nothing. goodness. You lose. Good day, sir. Exactly. I didn't catch the sarcasm, so I was like, yeah, another point for me. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. I was like, wait, did I get it? Lies. Yeah, oh, no. Right. Maybe this wasn't a good one to do. <laughs> no. Nah. We learned our lesson. See, look, you challenged us. That's what it's all about. But Molly, do you have the score for us? Do you know I do all the score? have the score. See, I know that Josh did bad. That's all I know. Oh, wow, thanks, bud. Thanks. I think you went 0 for 4, actually. I think you're right. I'm pretty sure. Yes. It's oh, a great day. <laughs> um, so... In first place is Kristen with 13. Hey, oh. I'm at 11. Howie, you're at 10. And Josh, you are at 8. Yes. <laughs> Lowest score wins, Aww. just like golf. <laughs> I'm really surprised, though, because prior to doing this, I was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose because I don't watch a whole lot of movies. Yeah. But you lie. You put on the act about movies. You hustled. I hustled. Us. I hustled. <laughs> <laughs> well, cherish that first place, Kristen. That might be the only time you ever get there. But on the other side of the break, we have our relationship segment. Stay tuned here on the morning app. Where the scissors at? Where's the tape? I don't know. You had it. No, I didn't. Guys, what are you doing? You said sports rap. We're repping up presents for sports teams, right? No, I meant sports rap, the sports talk show on 90.5 WASU that airs every Tuesday and Thursday at 6, where we recap the biggest sports games and news from the week. What did you say? <laughs> well, what are you rapping? Oh, I'm just getting Tom Brady up to play football. Maybe you can catch this. I'm just wrapping up LeBron's career in Cleveland and sending Isaiah Thomas a no trade ball. And I'm getting a choking hazard label for the Indians, Dodgers, and the Falcons. You think Dan Quinn will like this? Come on, guys, time for actual sports rap. Falcons, Dodgers. My name is Maggie Harper, and I host the App 1800, a podcast featuring the current events in Boone that you care about. Listen every Monday at 9 a.m. on 90.5 WASU after the morning app. What time is it? I need to get up. I need to go up this show. Oh, it's time for the morning app. Oh. <laughs>
welcome into the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Hi guys, you this morning. You can listen worldwide at WASURadio.com, live on App TV, or with the iHeartRadio app. Hey, how are you? Oh, hey, Kristen, how are you? So what's going on? What music are you listening to right now? <sighs> Man, how are you? I don't know. I can't find any good music anymore. Well, guess what? I host a show on WASU. You do? Yeah, it's called The Rollout. Do you like Top 40 music? Of course I do. Well, guess what? I have your fix. I have the songs that are be coming up on the charts. I have the next breakout artist and the song you want to hear again and again. That sounds great. When was it again? It's going to be Wednesdays at 7 on 90.5 WASU or WASURadio.com. The Rollout. Listen to The Rollout every Wednesday at 7 on 90.5 WASU. What's up, guys? Here on App TV, the A Game is the only place where you can see highlights and updates on everything App State sports. I'm Braxton Critcher. And I'm Ashley Smith, co host of the A Game, where each and every Monday at 9 p.m., you can find the best coverage of all your favorite Mountaineer teams and in depth reporting from the sidelines. That also includes athlete interviews, a player of the week, and a chance for students to get involved with the QA game. So join us each Monday on App TV for App State's only sports TV show. And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Good morning and welcome back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. And as always, it is time for our relationship segment. Play the right one, Josh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't hurt me no more. Okay. <laughs> what do we got, Kristen? Okay, you know... You know, this is my favorite part of the show. I love talking love. I love talking relationships. And right now, I just want to figure out, okay, gauge your guys' Same. opinions. Mm -hmm. What is the number one character trait that you look for in somebody? We all have just that number one. You can't list three. You can't have two. You can't have any one, one character trait. If you had to leave it all on the floor, which one? has to genuinely be a good person. Oh, that's which so I don't know vague. how you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so big. I, I mean, like a ca kind, caring? Does that work? Yeah, good but morals? that's also vague, though. Good more. Uh, yeah, I mean. I guess. That's okay. why you wrap it all into one word of good. Yeah. I just want her to be good. I just okay. want her to be good. <laughs> just be a good girl. Not a, bad, not a bad person. <laughs> not a bad person. Not a bad person. Okay. Dude, that's how I am with Josh, too. Um, yeah. I, I really want somebody that likes to have adventure, likes to do something different. Because for me personally... So adventurous. Yes, because I, I am a normal guy. Like, basically, <laughs> I will just do, you know, watch Netflix as a date. I'll go to dinner for a date. And I'm really simple and basic. I want somebody to, like, kind of push me to do other things. Really? So, yeah. I don't yeah. see that at all. Yeah, I'm... I'm Because you, you always talk about, like, staying in and, like, you know, just having fun, like, just, you know, relaxing and everything. Like, yeah, I, I'm always at my house. If I'm not here or if I'm not, you know, working anywhere else, I'm at home. That I want to go out and do more things. So okay, yeah, 
Oh, me too? Okay. <laughs> um, I would definitely say kind of the similar situation to how I need somebody to put me out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Um, I used to be an extrovert. Now I've kind of become an intro extroverted introvert, introvert if that's how you want to put it <laughs> but um definitely somebody that would make me try new things and you know push me out of my comfort zone of course respectfully but like mm-hmm. you know encourage me to try new things right. okay so one word put it in one word would you say adventurous too i guess adventurous yeah okay okay mine's humor <laughs> we know why. We know why. Because <laughs> Kristen isn't funny, so she needs someone to fill the void. There you go. Uh, no, because I need somebody to laugh at my jokes, and then I laugh at theirs, and then it's we're laughing. Oh, and that's, a, that's a rude. Laugh. Just keep laughing. They're laughing. You're doing, doing dumb things. You know, like you fall over, you, you trip a lot, you're clumsy. So they, you laugh, they laugh at you for that, but not at your jokes. You know, you know what? I would like... <laughs> This is not fair. Two against one is not fair. <laughs> so you, you need to even we, this out. But see, we've, we've gauged it. We've taken a poll. We have. What? We have indeed. They ha- they've taken a very biased <laughs> poll, okay? Biased. Okay, I think Kristen's funny and Kristen thinks she's funny, so that's two against two. Ooh, <laughs> thank you, yourself. Molly. Thank you. I have supporters out there. <laughs> but that's, that's the number one thing I look for. But I have a list of the top five things that people really are looking for. Independence is one. Yes. And I agree with that. Um, you know, you don't ever want to be too dependent on the other person or clingy or anything like that. So you want to operate in your own separate lives and come together. Man, yeah, I love that, honestly. Like, if, mm-hmm. if I'm dating somebody and she can just do whatever she wants to do on her own, I support that 100%. You don't go out with your friends, go do it. You know, you don't, you don't need me to be, yeah. you know, your source of happiness. That's what I really like, so. You can tell him, Howie. Yes, Howie. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Intelligent. That's, yes. I agree, because I have a very low tolerance for people that just don't think. Well, what, there's, so, there's so many different types of intelligence. I mean, you got street there smart, is. you got book smart, you got... That might actually be it. <laughs> <laughs> Life fine, though, as long as they have some sort of intellectual capabilities. Yes. You know? Okay. They're not just like... I also look for a person that's not... That, how do I put this? They're, they're not okay with settling down. Like, they're always going to be pushing for the next thing. Motivated, mm-hmm. I guess. Duh, motivated, that's the word. Um, <laughs> You'll get there. Another one is respectful. I think that's okay. really important. Yeah. That goes under good. I guess. Yeah. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. Treats other people well, wait staff, your family, your mm-hmm. friends. Yeah. Um, another one is gets along with family and friends. So I guess that goes along with respectful. And then on this list as well is attractive. Attractive. Which is not a character trait, but, you know, you do need it. You, tra- you got to be attractive. You need a level <laughs> of physical attraction. You can't deny that. Yeah. But going back to the respect part, um, I think that's one of uh, the most key aspects of dating somebody. If they can respect your friends, they can respect your family, then you're going to be fine. You're going to be golden, you know, because... Um, you can't really earn respect, and if they're just, like, going out of the way trying to get respect from mm-hmm. people that you care about, it's just not going to work like that, so. Now, this one's just for me. Maybe someone else is feeling it. Competitiveness is a big part of my life. No. I'm a very competitive person, so if yes, I can, you know, is. find someone who's competitive as well, like, that's, like, the total package. <sighs> but that's just me. In a relationship, you don't want to be competing against each other. If well, anything, not in that way. I think it's more like a fun competing in every, every situation. To a sense, but if they right. have this root of competitiveness, like, deep down, Deep down, yeah. it's going to get competitive. So, you know, there's a playful competitive, and that's fine. Yeah. But if, you, if it turns into you start competing against each other, that's not how it should be at all. You should be bringing out the best in each other and encouraging each other to keep motivating yourselves up and, and you know, moving forward. Again. So it's like. This is just like, me. I know, I know, but so I just... Don't, I, don't tear me down. I see it, I see it. Well, you tear me down every day. <laughs> Not true. We actually like, just did. So. Kristen, it's funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes in these character traits, you don't even realize that some of them could be with your best friend, could be, you know, somebody that you've known since middle school, high school, and then all of a sudden, you're like, uh-oh, I think I like this person. I might be secretly in love with them. And so I have a couple of things that you might need to take note of if your BFF is into you one of them is we follow up on our promises so basically if you're still going down for you know hanging out and stuff like that (laughs) you know what what was that wait a second i want my friends to follow up on their promises whether they're into me or Or not not. that's true but you know you might have a friend sometimes that's like always busy and they have to cancel a lot but even if they are busy they're still making time to see you and hang out with you so could be a sign debunked Uh, (laughs) debunked (laughs) 
<laughs> Another one is uh, we go out of our way to be polite. So just being extra nice all the time during, you know, family-friendly settings. I don't know. Some people do that all the time. These people, are yeah. very ambiguous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These can go anywhere, it seems <laughs> like. I don't know leading some people astray right now. <laughs> I know. Like, oh, they're oh into me. Gosh, I was like, oh, wait, are you into me? <laughs> Text your best friend now. <laughs> uh, another one that we have is uh, initiating conversations. So whenever you're around each other, too, they really initiate <laughs> conversations. Look, this, this, <laughs> this article, man, look, okay. <laughs> It could go either way. It could go either way. Don't read into it too much. Okay, because I, I, you know, me and you are sitting in the office, and I initiate a conversation with you. All oh, of a sudden, that's you're it. I'm into totally. You. I'm into you. Totally. Right? She's in. Oh, man, my best friend looked at me. <laughs> they blinked. They blinked. What is that? They blinked blink twice. <laughs> they blinked twice. Um, another one is uh, giving them constant compliments too. Okay. I think that one is a big sign. That, that one is. Anyway, though. But it depends on what type of compliments yeah. Yeah. as well. If they hear, like, you're beautiful every day, that's kind of a sign, I think. Oh, well, that's oh. a big sign. That's, yeah. that's a big that's a red big sign. That's a like, come red on, girl, flag, he's man. into you. <laughs> I think, yeah, move. it depends. If, he, if he's like, oh, your hair looks really nice, oh, that's the ding, ding, ding. Or if it's like, you know, oh, you did really well on the show today, that's probably not a, that's, that's like, a, I was just supporting yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. To it. Absolutely. Another one that I think can go either way, too, is uh, discussing similarities. So you kind of discuss what you have in common, I think can be big, but it can go either way once again. Because, like, for example, me and Kristen, we love radio, but we're not, we're not like that. So it can, be, can go two different ways, you know what I mean? Maybe, like, yeah, I mean, maybe, though, personality similarities, though. Yeah. So, some of the, bi the big arching similarities, if you discuss those. <laughs> the best we could come up with here is me and Kristen like radio. Dude, look, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, me and Kristen. I had to get an example. I thought I... it on the fly. We're on radio right now, man. It was the first thing that came we to are? me. I mean, I like radio. I want to hear like no. radio. I guess we're all into each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're so rude, Josh. I can't stand you. <laughs> um, another one is uh, bragging about ourselves, too, but for the right reasons. So mm. um, you kind of, you, for example, you kind of talk to your friend and you're like, man, I look really good today and all that stuff. But you're trying to get them to say, yeah, you look great. You know, you're trying to bait. That's what we call it. That's the bait. fishing for a compliment. That's bait. We're fishing I for it. So <laughs> it is bait. <laughs> oh, my God. I love the compliments. Josh is like, I do it so often. <laughs> See, I also compliment so many other people on everything. Yeah, Literally anything. except for me and Howie. Not true. I tell you daily that I like your shirt or your pants That's or your shoes. That's a lie. <gasps> Why is he always lying? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's incredible. And I got one more for you. So uh, if you text your BFF out of nowhere a lot. So basically, like, you'll talk during the day, but then out of nowhere, like, hey, like, today was cool. Like, we had fun today, stuff like that. Hmm. But I don't know. That can go either way, too. A lot of these can go either way, and it's kind of up to your discretion and your determination if they like you. But... Who knows? It's always so. A hard one. Always. What we learned is nothing. <laughs> what we learned is nothing. It could go either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is all we have for you here today on the morning app. Tune in 8 a.m. Wednesday morning with Taylor Ann. This has been the morning app on 90.5 WASU.